this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I decided to return to Fabul Castle because someone was asking me, H.G. Bailey, shouldn't you inform Yang's wife of her husband's demise? So, yeah, I suppose that would be the prudent thing to do. Okay, how's it going? What do you mean? Well, don't tear up all about it. I mean, I'm sure everything will pan out. Okay, yeah, that's all that happens there, so... Yeah, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of extra dialogue there, so... Okay, well, let's return to the, uh, cave dev on there. That's where we gotta go next. Now that we're actually strong enough to handle that. I've already done the stuff in Evlon Castle, so if you're looking for that in this LP compared to the last LP... Uh, I did that in an earlier episode, so I already cleared out all the treasure there. I wonder where everyone went. Let's find out. In the Cave to Eblon, or Cave of Eblon. Whatever, you know what I mean. Let's go through some secret passages around here first. We've got a shuriken, but we can't use that for now. But here we meet up with a steel golem. Uh oh. Okay, uh, this guy is actually pretty rare in this part of the cave, so yeah, I'm a little... I'm unprepared for this one. But I, I think he is... Is he weak to ice? Maybe that's the oh, only the other variety. No, he's weak to ice. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. But yeah, as with any golem, you can use... You can use hold on them to keep them in place. You can also use sleep, but... Nah. And here we got more new enemies. Wow, I'm meeting up with the harder enemies right now. But anyway, uh, we got those uh, Skull Gears. They are weak to fire! So I want to use well, fire on them. Well, different, but you could go either way. Farah is probably not strong enough to deal with them. You could all... Oh, I should have equipped the Ice Brand. Well, whatever, we'll get them all the same. Let's see, with the Skull Ears, uh, they're also weak to Holy, obviously. You could use curative attacks on them or whatever. Like, you got the Holy Arrows, but you'd probably want to use the Flame Arrows. But, well, whatever. You, you get the point. That's why I've got the Flame Lance and Flame Sword, or one of the reasons why I've got those equipped on Cecil and Kane. There are some other enemies that are weak to fire around. Those steel golems are pretty rare in this area. I'm shocked I met up with them twice already. Now, here's how you're supposed to take care of these guys. Sure, I'll go for a quickie here. Why not? Yeah, when they're alone, they'll start casting Thundara, but nothing to worry about. So, yeah, that's how you're supposed to take care of them. I wonder where all this water's coming from. I mean, I know we're kind of like right next to the shoals and everything, but... Oh. Monster! Oh, no, no, it's not monsters. See, they got an in here. Didn't that cost more in the... <sighs> I didn't want to rest up here. Okay, we get to hear resting music then. But didn't that in cost more in the Super Nintendo version of the game? I forget. I think they did adjust a couple of the in prices in this version of the game because, well... It's kind of ridiculous for an inn to cost more than a cottage. So they were like, oh yeah. Oops. Nuts. I kind of wish they gave all the soldiers here unique sprites, since they are kind of, you know, ninjas. But, whatever. Now while we're here, I do want to purchase a boomerang for later there. They sell some other things, but nothing I care about. And over here, we want to get the mighty black robe for Rydia. She's going to hold on to that for quite some time. Take a look at her intellect, it's 48. You equip the black robe on her, and it's up to 53, so it boosts it by 5. So that's pretty nice. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version of the game, uh, that the black robe is bugged. It actually gives a plus 5 to spirit, not intellect. I'd still buy it for her, just for the raw defense, I and mean, she can use everything she can get. But, just so you know, it doesn't give that boost to the intellect, unfortunately. So, oh well. Ninjutsu, huh? Water jutsu? 
No, they don't have that technique, I'm afraid. Not these guys, anyway. What happened? Well, that's what we're here for. Well, not to avenge our parents, but... Well, I suppose Cecil kind of is. I mean, they did kill his adoptive father. Huh? Congratulations. Now, wait a minute. What? Who is she referring to? Is she referring to her son for staying by her side or the prince? I don't know. But... Eh, maybe we should keep an eye out for him. I like living on the edge. Huh? Shouldn't he have sent one of you grunts out to get- or grunts? Sorry, not runts. Grunts. Rubicante. Well, we'll keep an eye out for him, too. Well, let's go grab some more treasure along the way. Lots of secret passages around here. Oh, I guess he did take some guys with him. Didn't end too well for them. Let's go through another secret passage. More high potions. Awesome. Oh, so this takes us to the Tower of Babel, huh? What, what do you mean by that? Hmm. He must mean Rubicante, right? I don't think there's anything up there, but... I wonder what comes out of this egg. Well, we're not going to find out. We're just going to get the jump on him. Or her. Probably a Lamia or something. Or... Yeah, it is a Lamia. Okay, there we go. I had a feeling it was one of them. No, that was the wrong one. Let's see. Yeah, there's the treasure. That's the bomb core. What does that do? I forget. Let me check. I think that casts Fira on all enemies. Oh, no, that's like the bomb spirit item. You sacrifice yourself to explode you. Yeah, useless item. Has a sacrificing ability that kills all enemies ever been useful? Like, really? I mean, I know it's like an emergency button, but let's go through another secret passage. Elixirs galore. That will never use, because they're part of the too good to use. Well, well, at least we're picking up a bunch of stuff along the way. Huh? Well, I'm sure everything will work out just fine. More spider silks. Awesome. I want to hold on to those for later. And here we got another new enemy. Ice lizards. Let's use Shiva to take all these guys out. Because of the black lizards. I could... Or, no, that's iron back. Sorry, not iron lizards. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, you could use Toad on the Black Lizards. That would work. And the Ironbacks don't really have a whole lot of HP. So, I mean, even Rydia could probably take them out from the back row, practically. Or Rosa, but... Yeah, I'll just use my Summon because we got a healing point coming up sooner or later. I don't think I've met an Ironback up to now. You could have been up with them outside. But I didn't meet up with them, and I figured... Well, I'll just save them for later when they're more common in the cave here. What's with all these torches around here? What is this, Minecraft? There's one more new enemy I'd like to meet up with. Well, no, not really, but... I want to complete my bestiary. Well, let's go over here to make a pit stop first. And also go through a secret passage! Now let's see, before opening this up, get the Ice Brand, Ice Lance, good, yeah, I need that one of the battles I did off screen there, and open this chest with MONSTERS! Whoa, two of them! I'm totally unprepared for two. But, we'll do the best we can. Let's go with Blizzara, and eh, probably should have done that on the one in the front row. Yeah, let's use Hold on them, why not? Oh, Rydia got, uh, paralyzed there. Nuts. Well, then I guess it's a good thing I did things the way I'm doing it. There we go. Easy enough. And for defeating them, we get the Blood Sword. It drains HP from your enemies. So, 
but it reduces all your stats again, so that's eh, not that good, but I do have a particular use for that. But first things first, let's head on up here. Oh, hey, who are those guys? At last, we meet for the first time for the last time. Well, you kind of burned my kingdom to the ground. Well, if you're not human, then what the hell are you? Ha! <laughs> I like that edge. Er, that line from Edge there. Alright, get him, Edge! Oh, well, that didn't work too well. How bad could it possibly be? Oh, he's black? Well, I suppose it worked in Blazing Saddles. Huh. Nuts. Well, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? I like how he just dissolves into flames like that. Nice, nice special effect there. Uh, you already did. You're pretty weak there, pal. Apparently not. You'd have learned water jutsu like Hawk, but no, nah, it doesn't work that way in this game. Yeah, pretty much. I've never heard of you. How famous can you possibly be? Hmm? And they died. You didn't watch them die. Well, maybe Sid, but I don't think... He was kind of way behind us. Unless you count him jumping off the edge like that. Yeah, pretty much. I had to grind up to level 38 to kick his ass. The first time I played the game, that is. Well, yeah, that is true. She is the hottest girl in the game. Yeah, help the poor guy out there. Yay! Happy music! I didn't lose to him. You're delusional! <laughs> Yay! More party members! The Ninja Edge, one of my favorite party members in the game. But anyway, for him, what I want to do is I want to equip him with the Boomerang. If you equip a long-range weapon, like the Boomerang, in his right hand, then it makes his entire attack uh, long-range. So it's good to keep him in the back row like that. And, let me see, will the power armlet help him? Yes, it'll boost it over 32, so that'll give him another attack multiplier. So that's pretty nice. If it's if it's not going to boost his strength over a multiple of 8, then you might as well equip the rune armlet on him for the extra magic defense. So, And he also comes with ninjutsu, which is flame. Let's go through one last secret passage to get a dry under there. But can we break into the Tower of Babel again? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!